Sweet. So now that I've beaten that horse to death, let's go ahead and zoom in on this portion where I'm going to show you what an automation engineer does during every sprint. So here I developed a cute little time chart representing two sprints. Here we have week one which is sprint one, right? If we're assuming that every sprint is a week. And here we have week two and sprint two, if we're assuming that every sprint is a week. It can be two, three, four, whatever your team does. Just pretend that this is a sprint, okay? And here we have Monday through Friday. And for each day, we have the time is from nine to five typical business working hours, right? And it's kind of these little blocks kind of represent the time throughout the day and what happens. Um, in this column, we have the developers being represented. So the software automation engineer usually works alongside several developers and they do their work alongside with those several developers. Okay. So this, this is where the developers do their work. And I'm going to put what they're going to be doing here in these columns right here in D and H over here. This is what the software automation engineer does. This is your work, your job, what you should be doing. Now we're going to be talking in terms of hypothetical, perfect world and the ideal situations, but it is almost never like that in the real world. Many companies dream of this kind of a structure and then they constantly work on implementing it. Even at my work right now, the structure is not 100% solidified, but we work every single sprint upon improving it. So remember, this is the ideal case. And if it's not what's happening at your job, try to help management and development to work towards it. But anyways, now that you guys understand everything about a sprint, we can go ahead and jump into it, right? So it's your first day at work. You've arrived and we are having our sprint planning to determine what we're going to work on for the rest of the sprint. And if you remember our previous example, we decided to work on implementing the sign in page functionality so that our users can sign in. And so therefore that is going to be called feature one in this example, we're going to work on th in this sprint on developing feature one so that a user can sign in. 